This view holds immense power and has brought joy to many people over the years. And these mountains and the path created by the curving river below them did not come here in a day. Much like the love that you both share, they've grown over time into the beauty that we see today. For this reason and so many others, this is a perfect place to exchange vows and start a life together. The significance of this occasion is absolutely enhanced by where we stand right now. You've chosen to marry today in a location where the power of place which you feel is akin to the power of love which brings you together and the joy and awe that you felt getting here mirrors the way that you've lived your life together so far. While marriage is an institution which the state may regulate and religions may sanction, it can only truly become real in the lives and hearts of two people. This ceremony is simply the outward representation of the deep connection you obviously share. I can assure you, marriage is the most tender, most difficult, most complicated, and most rewarding of all of life's relationships. So, are you ready to be married? We are. Ashley and Juan. You have come here today as individuals, but you will depart as one. On my wedding day, my mother said to me, your husband is the only family member that you ever get to choose. The rest is a crapshoot. True story, she said that to me. In choosing your spouse, you are truly choosing your family, the foundation of the rest of your life. And the story of your life together is yours to write a blank page before you. Now you will feel no cold, for you will be warmth for the other. Now there will be no loneliness, for you will be the companion to the other. Now you are two persons, but there is only one life before you. May beauty surround you in the journey ahead and through all the years. May happiness be your companion, and may your days together be good and long upon the earth. When we think of how to define love, perhaps the best description comes from Hobbes, when Calvin asks, what's it like to fall in love? And Hobbes says, well, say the object of your affection walks by. First, your heart falls into your stomach and splashes your innards. All the moisture makes you sweat profusely. This condensation shorts the circuits of your brain and you get all woozy. When your brain burns out altogether, your mouth disengages and you babble like a cretin until she leaves. Calvin says, that's love? Medically speaking. Says, well, heck, that happened to me once, but I figured it was cooties. <laughs> now, Ashley and Juan will take a few moments to speak to what happens after the cooties subside. Ashley, I love you more than anything else that God has given me in life. Without you, there was a complete void in my life that was solely consuming me. But then you came in, and with you came a light that I have never known. Now that light, with God's help, guides me in life, through thick and thin, and onto the everlasting love that has been missing before you. That is why these vows, I say to you, will hold true, even after death do us part, as in heaven, I will still always love you. I vow to always love you, even after death do us part. I vow to never pursue another woman, for after you no one can compare. I vow to take care of you no matter how the cards are dealt. Whether you are a power lifter till you're a hundred or confined to a wheelchair, I will always be there for you. Most importantly, I vow to give you my life to be one with you for eternity. Ashley, I can go on for days on what I vow to you, but to make it simpler, understand that I'm standing up here with you, committing my life to you officially under my own free will. If anything, I would hope you would understand I don't do anything unless I truly believe in it. And my love and commitment for you is something I will always believe in. I love you and always will. Uh, Juan, I never thought I would be uh, so happy and blessed to be marrying my best friend. I've had so many good times with you and I know the best are yet to come. Thank you for pushing me to better myself every day, and I have uh, truly found my better half. You understand me, and you make me smile when I am upset. I promise to be loyal and faithful to you. I promise to encourage you, and uh, to I promise to encourage you and to follow your dreams. I promise to. Uh, never stop meaning you 
in the back when you're asleep, even though I know you wish I would. I promise to love you when we're old and gray. I promise to respect and honor you. I promise to always try to make you laugh on hard days. And I promise to love you unconditionally. Ashley, please take this ring. Ashley, please take this ring. As a token of my love and commitment. As a token of my love and commitment. I choose you to be my best friend. I choose you to be my best friend. My life's partner and my wife. My life's partner and my wife. Ashley, please repeat after me and place this ring on one's finger. One, please take this ring as a token of my love. Please take this token of my love. And commitment. And commitment. I choose you to be my best friend. I choose you to be my best friend. My life partner my and my life, husband. My life partner and my husband. By the power vested in me, by the love that you obviously share, and of course the laws in the state of Wyoming, I pronounce that Juan and Ashley are now husband and wife. You may seal your vows. <laughs>